Hey guys, it's Jesse Media House. So you're super welcome back to my YouTube channel. If this is your first time moving here, please check below. Check below. See the red subscription button below. Hit on the red subscription button below and subscribe to this channel. So guys, this video basically is about Regina Daniels and Billionaire Politician Network. Oh, but before we get into the later, let's take a quick look at some juicy, really juicy highlights of the day. As I don't want to waste much of your time because I know you don't have much. The video talks about his humble beginning. DMW Buzz, also known as OBO, and the video has revealed that he lived with Don Jazzy and his crew, Mohit, for over a year. Wow. The 28 year old made this known on Twitter after he was accused of not struggling to make it in the music industry. The video doesn't have. When I Never Blow Stage came in with a hit, the user tweeted. The father of three, however, replied him saying, I did all oh, we all did. I was in Mohit's house for a year. That's Don Jazz's house, aka Don Bap J. I did all oh, we all did. I was in Mohit's house for over a year. In fans of the superstar musician David Adeleke, aka David Doe, were really impressed as they were tweeting back saying, Wow, such a revelation from David Doe. Who could have thought that he could also hustle this way? Hmm. All people have been seeing is his OBO, the industrial big man with a vibe, not knowing he also started in a small way and hustled to the top, top, top with upgrades. And now he's a boss. Kudos. Well, some other fans are accusing him that David Doe, I have been following you up all in your interviews. Never have I heard you once said you stayed in Mohit's house for a whole year. Like a whole year. Man, when will you tell the real story? Well, some people are accusing him of not telling the truth. Some other people are saying, do you think any artist can just suffer from nowhere and boom, become a superstar? There are stages, man. I am currently going through mine. But the big question is, who knows me now? But if it starts to shake the industry by God's grace very soon, they will say, I come from nowhere. <laughs> That's true, man. And that is it. Nobody knows you when you are nobody until you are somebody. So hustle real hard. And another fan here is trying to make a very big revelation saying, yeah, if I can remember vividly, you had an album with most of the Mohit featured in. OBO was the end album you recorded and you couldn't release it. Am I right or wrong? <laughs> and some other fans that know him too well said, most people don't know that David o used to rap back then in the days in US. He also used to sell jewelries. <laughs> and, and his father didn't support his music career. Their Maduro changed all that. So put some respect on David o for doing it on his own, even though his dad was not in support. That's a good one there, David Doe. It's good to believe on your dreams. Like, not only believing on your dreams. Like, some people just come up and have some silly dreams and say, I believe on my dreams. Walk on it. Push it hard. So the world can support you. Like, at the point, the father, after the Damiduro release um, hit, the father don't have any choice again than to just allow him to have his will. Because he has seen the miracle, like he has seen the magic. He has seen his performance, his capability, you know. He was like, yeah, this is my son is a born musician, like he's a star. There's no point holding him back. So, that is it, guys. And yeah, every successful person in life have their humble beginning. And in this case of Choma Roland, the yet-to-be wife of Nigerian singer David Adeleke, aka Davido. Unlike Davido, Choma was not born with a silver spoon in her mouth. The mother of one began her life journey just like the ordinary girl on the street, hustling her way out of poverty. The Chef Chi, as he's popularly called, was born in May of 1995 in Oweri, Imo State, Eastern Nigeria. And Choma Rulan was raised in a decent home. And today, 
Choma has risen to become a brand ambassador of several companies and she is a great influencer on social media. You know, you know, so I don't have to talk much, all right? So every successful person you see today have their humble beginnings and Choma Roland and the video are not an exception. Now, keep that in mind while we move on to billionaire politician Ned Walker and his very beautiful, beautiful wife, Regina Daniels. Are you tired already? I hope not because the drama never ends. Has Ned Walker revealed how he saved Regina Daniels from sleeping around with men? Nigerian businessman, philanthropist and politician Ned Walker has revealed how he saved his wives from prostitution by getting married to them earlier. Speaking during an interview, Ned Woko explained that marrying more than one wife helped society and stop younger ladies from venturing into prostitution. It be things, yeah. Wow. He further explained that the average northerners marries two, three, four women to help the society. Wow. To help the society, you heard me well. According to Ned, it is the eco economic downturn that has affected so many Nigerian women you see today doing prostitution and all of that, Walker said in an exclusive interview. Now, that is huge. Like, that is really huge. Walker coming out to say the reason for him marrying so two, three, four, five, six, seven wife. Because Regina Daniels is actually Woko's seventh wife. Mm -hmm. Is helping the society. Is helping our young girls. You know that if he hasn't done that, they will go about sleeping around with men because the economic system of the country is not good. It's not favoring them. According to Woko, he said the economic downturn. <laughs> oh oh. This is really huge, guys, but I don't know what you think. But to me, I said this is really huge. I mean, Regina Daniel saved shock. <laughs> it shook. According to Umoko, he said in the north when you see men marrying two, three, four wives, they are not doing it for themselves, but the society. They are trying to help the society because the population of women is more than the men. And if they don't, these other women will just remain. They will keep suffering. They will start looking for uh, men to sleep around with, you know. Because, you know now, men, once they are married, women, once they are married, they are married. But men, if they are married, they still feel like they are single. They can still go around sleeping with a lot of girls. Like, So, the men that are married can still go ahead and sleep with the rest of the women that are still single. But yeah, he is trying to catch the ones he can catch. To help the society now i don't know what you think i don't know what you think but <laughs> oh my god like this is really funny okay so the comment section is very much available like it's open go down to the comment section and drop your comments like is this really worth it because the population of um men is fewer than women so one man can go ahead and marry as many wives as possible to say he is, is, is that is his own donation to the society i mean to the community like that is huge guys that is huge i don't have much to say but he could be right though but regina was not doing bad as a single girl i mean she was an actress she was a youtuber she was doing a lot of stuff you know she was a brand influencer like she did a lot of stuff like she wasn't poor she wasn't starving you know but sometimes some people want to crave for more wealth more affluence more power like now she is the wife of the billionaire politician you know so I don't know if I should agree with Ned Walker or I should not because it's really complicated guys. It's really complicated. I don't have much to say but I can't say he's 100% making sense because I can't deal like I've tried to place the side by side like okay let me see. 
you know there are some so many young ladies out there that are really looking for a good guy they could settle down with but it's not really it seems impossible okay so they choose to go into sleeping around with men to earn money take care of themselves but these days our young women are no longer independent they don't feed of a man anymore you see them going into business most of them are graduates and there's no jobs they go into um, making creams selling hair doing a lot of stuff you know selling shoes and bags and all of that i know there are still some that don't do anything but that's just a very few of them and i think those ones they just want to hustle like they want to sleep with men that, that's their own career like that's their own office every job they have chosen for their lives okay but the rest of them like 80 percent are not really idle they are doing one thing or the other and it's not like the men are completely very very helpful so men some nigerian men are totally useless like their women are better off than them so i cannot agree with umoko 100 percent but i don't know what you think so the comment section is down below you can make your comments you can drop whatever comment you want to make all right guys so that is it for this video i don't have much to say because i'm really weak like it choked me all right so that is it for this video if this is your first time i've been here check below check below check below you see the rest subscription button below hit on the subscription button below and subscribe to this channel also do not forget to turn on the bell icon so you get notified each time i upload a new video all right guys so see you on my next video bye